The CAD trig is now ready for animation. As discussed in part 1, there are three major poses to consider. The first pose is already in place at frame 0. You need two more poses and 3ds Max will handle the interpolation between all three. You could use Auto Key Mode, but Set Key Mode is better suited for pose-to-pose -pose animation. Typically, in Set Key Mode, you'd select objects you want to keyframe, and by keyframing one, you keyframe them all. Therefore, the interpolation between keyframes, or poses, is a lot more predictable. In this case, select everything in the scene. This includes the cat rig and all its components, bones, targets, etc., and also the handgun acting as a control object. Create a selection set and give it a name, such as Cop or Soldier. Remember to press Enter after you've named the selection set. You can deselect the scene objects at this point. Enable Set Key and switch the selected mode to the selection set you just created. This way, when you create a key for one object, the key is also created for every object in the selection set. If you wish, Click the Key Filters button and disable Scale. You won't need to keyframe that track. Select any object in the selection set, for example the gun. Click the Set Keys button to create a keyframe at frame 0, marking the start of the animation. Alternatively, you can press K on the keyboard to set a keyframe. If you select any other part of the rig, notice that a keyframe has also been created for these components as well. Select the gun again and go to frame 10. Set the Move tool to Screen and adjust the view to face the character. Using Screen Mode sets the XY plane aligned to that view. At this point, not much has changed. You might want to move the gun just slightly so that the pose is not perfectly still for those few frames. Create a keyframe and test the animation. At this point, it's a very minute shift of the two-handed grip. Go to frame 55. Here, you need to pose the character as he points the gun to his left. This requires the relocation and reorientation of the gun, but also twists for the pelvis, spine, and head. Remember that the Rotate tool has an embedded screen mode in the form of the outer gray circle. When you're happy with the new pose, create a keyframe. Test the animation. The character is rotating nicely, but the head should react a little faster to the sound. Basically, the character hears a sound, looks in that direction, and a moment later the body responds. Go back to frame 20 and rotate the head in the direction of the sound. Create a key. Test the animation. The motion now feels more realistic. Go to frame 60. Make some minute adjustments. You want the character to be still but not 100% immobile. Create a key. At this point in the animation, the character hears a sound from the opposite direction and needs to twist around quickly. As earlier, the head responds faster than the rest of the body. Go to frame 68 and rotate the head in the opposite direction and create a key. From this point forward, and as the character twists to point the gun in the other direction, he is going to lose the two-handed grip to favor only one hand carrying the gun. So, starting at frame 68, the handgun prop needs to drop its control over the left hand IK solution. Select the left hand target. The easiest way to do that is to select any left arm bone and in the motion panel click the Select IK Target button. So far, the only parent defined as a link constraint is the gun starting at frame 0. If you had another object you wish to use as a new parent or a new control object, you could use Add Link and select it. 
If you simply want to relinquish control back to the IK target itself, meaning leaving it without any parents from this point on, then you can use link to world. World is now assigned as a parent from the current frame, frame 68, onward. This means the IK target is a free agent from this point on. Notice that all objects included in the animation have a keyframe at frame 68, which is the transition frame here between different parents. This is very important for link constraint to work well, otherwise the interpolation before and after the transition point will yield unexpected results. There's a movie explaining that behavior in the Tips and Tricks playlist if you need further details. Go to frame 80 and pose your character so that it's looking in the opposite direction. Notice that moving the gun now only affects the right hand. When you have a character in a good pose, create a keyframe. Here, you may need to create an in-between frame as the interpolation could use some help around frame 74. The timing of this animation is given as an example only. Feel free to experiment with keyframes at other moments in time. Go to frame 100 and make further small adjustments and create a key. Exit set key mode when done. Test the animation. In this tutorial you have learned how to control the hands and arms on a cat rig by using a scene object to drive the IK solution. In the process, you learn to apply a link constraint controller to the layer animation. This gave you an additional level of control where the parent object can be made to relinquish control over the IK solution over time. A completed file is included for you to analyze and study. We hope you have found the technique useful. We'll see you next time.